with total defense, home and home office. Go beyond protection. Double click on the total defense shield. Today's topic My computer walkthrough on Total Defense Internet Security Suite. Select Scan and it will drop down Scan Features. Select the type of scan you wish to perform. Once the scan is initiated, you will also have an option to shut down once scan is finished. By default, this option will be unchecked. Once the scan is completed, click on Close to exit. Click on View Full Report to view the threats detected by Total Defense. You will find the details about the threats detected here. Click Close to exit. Click Update Settings for Advanced Settings under My Computer. This is an auto scan feature. This is an email scan feature for your email clients. This is a cloud scanning feature. You can also enable or disable all of these options by clicking on the X and apply. These are advanced scan options. You can also enable or disable them by checking or unchecking the boxes and applying them. This is an advanced setting for detected threats. You can also enable or disable these options. You can exclude files and folders from being scanned using this option. Click Browse. Navigate to the exact location. Select the file or folder you want to exclude. Click OK. Click Apply. Click Yes on the prompt if you are using Windows 7 or Vista. This option allows you to change the settings of Schedule Scan features. Click the drop-down to select Quick Scan or Full Scan. Select the type of scan you would like to schedule. Select the time settings by changing the time to your convenience. Click the up and down arrow keys to change the time. You can also select the reoccurrence of this scan by clicking the up and down arrows. Click the up and down arrow keys to increase or decrease the number of days. You can select this option to run the scan when it's idle. You can uncheck to disable that option. You can even enable or disable the schedule scan. You can disable the schedule scan by unchecking the box. Click Apply to save the changes. Click on Program Access. And this feature allows you to monitor and control programs. Click Add New to add a program. Click on the plus sign to expand the selection and select the file you would like to add. You will see the file added to the list. Click Modify. You can change these settings to Trusted, Installer, Network Servers, and Blacklist. Click on the radio button to select the settings you want to apply. Click Save once you have selected the setting. You can also enable or disable these features by clicking on the X or check mark. This is the Program Protection feature. This feature will be disabled by default. You can add a rule to programs and configure access rights. Select the rule you want to create and click Start. You will find the details about each rule right next to the rule you select. Enter the name for this rule. Enter the description. Click the drop-down menu to select the account type. Click Next. Type the object name. For example, if it is an Internet Explorer, you can type IE. You can specify the object to monitor by clicking the drop down menu. Click Next. Click Add to select the object. Navigate to the exact location of the object. Now select the object by clicking on it. Click OK. After selecting, click Next. You can click on the drop-down and choose Allow, Ask Me, Deny Accordingly.
Once done, check on the box to log all access requests. When complete, click on Next. You can opt to run always or schedule it during a specific time period. Click Finish. Click on Close to complete the program rule. Another feature of my computer is that you may snooze the auto scan feature. Right click on the security suite, select my computer, and click on Enable Snooze. Select Time and click on Snooze. To enable it, right click on the Internet Security Suite again. Select my computer and select Enable Snooze. Click on Wake Now. This completes my computer walkthrough on Total Defense Internet Security Suite video presentation. Visit totaldefense.com for more details. Thank you for watching.